Well, it's been now nearly four months since the arson at the old Bedford Middle School, and the developer saying there are plans to move forward, but parts of the project are changing. Ted News reporter Magdala Lusant joins us live tonight near the historic site. So, Magdala, uh, you've spoken with the developer. What, what's going to happen moving forward? Well, John, Dave McCormack says just because people don't see anything happening here at the site doesn't mean there's nothing going on behind the scenes. Well, Cormack, more Cormack, excuse me, says that they've been working for about a month trying to figure out what to do with the property because there's so much damage inside. He tells me when the iconic bell, iconic bell tower fell in, it fell into the school's auditorium. It was going to become a free community space for the town to use after construction, but that can no longer happen. McCormack says they will be rezoning the property. The auditorium will become additional apartments and parking will have to change too. So our investment in, in that auditorium space would, was very low. Now it would be millions of dollars for the same use, which is free. So from a business and a financial standpoint, it's really difficult, if not impossible, to make the case to go back in that building and rebuild that auditorium. I'm told there will be a rezoning meeting planned for the beginning of June with the county's planning commission board and town council. Now, in February, you may remember police arrested Daniel Flint and charged him with arson. Well, at six o'clock, I'm going to tell you or explain to you why or what he'll have to go through before he can see a judge after several delays. Live in Bedford, I'm Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.